And now for today's Bible question. Today we have been learning about Jesus the Trainer and how he trained his disciples to go out preaching, trusting the Lord for their provisions. He is the great provider even when our provisions seem too small. We saw how Jesus displayed his glory and taught his disciples to keep their eyes fixed upon him, obey him, and how the greatest among them must become the least. Someone might ask the question, how can I be trained to serve the Lord? Some Christians sense that God is calling them into his service and would like to be trained so that they can enter full time into the Lord's work. Training is very important in serving the Lord, but even more important than training is to be certain that God has called you to serve him. Perhaps many have mistakenly thought that they would like to serve God when in fact God had not called them and so they find themselves begging others to support them. Those who beg others to sponsor their education to their Christian service and ministry bring shame to the name of Jesus Christ. As we have seen in today's lesson, the Lord wants his servants to trust in himself for their support. God will most certainly look after the needs of those whom he calls into his service when they faithfully fulfill their ministry and do so in a manner that is pleasing to the Lord. Many who feel called to serve the Lord believe they must first go to Bible school to receive a degree in theology or be ordained in some official ceremony. Although many churches and Bible schools support the idea of ordination, we certainly do not find this taught in the Bible. Someone like Timothy had hands laid on him by the elders of a church, not to ordain him, but in recognition of his call to serve. Church leaders do not make someone a servant of God. That is God's doing. The elders of the church simply recognize and affirm the obvious when they recognize a man that has been prepared by God to enter into his service for God. Bible schools can be helpful in equipping a man with skills to study God's Word, but there are also some dangers associated with Bible schools. Bible schools may not follow the same doctrine of the church or might be quite liberal in their beliefs to accommodate a wider spectrum of believers. This can cause the students of theology to weaken their convictions about biblical truth. Also, we do not find Bible schools mentioned in the New Testament. We see, however, God raised up servants from within local churches. It appears that God's ideal is to have each local church operate as a mini Bible school. We can see the wisdom in training people within the context of the church, for it provides a practical, hands-on approach to learning to serve, teach, and shepherd. Also, a student learning under mature church leaders will be held accountable by them for their doctrine and Christian testimony. Bible schools often are lacking in the area of mentoring or spiritual accountability to leadership. The Bible says knowledge can puff a person up with pride. Bible schools tend to lift a person up in pride when graduates think they are qualified to serve because they have increased their knowledge. However, God does not look to a man's intellect or knowledge as much as he looks to a man's heart attitude and humble service to qualify him. David, the shepherd boy who came to be king over Israel, demonstrates this biblical principle. Bible schools perhaps can provide a profitable way to prepare a person to serve the Lord in the church, but do remember that this is not the pattern seen in the New Testament. Ideally, our local church should have mature men who are capable and willing to disciple younger men for serving the Lord. Elders also will have the spiritual discernment to recognize qualifications and gifting of those under their care and be the best to direct them in their practical sphere of service for the Lord. Every young man who is thinking about doing the Lord's work would be wise to consult with their elders in the church, submit to them, obey them, and follow their godly example. Also, they will want to find a place of service within the local church, for this is the best biblical training ground for any servant of the Lord. 
and the things that you have heard from me among many witnesses, commit these to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 2